Okay, here is another sponsored video. See, PPE, got the ear protection, the eye protection. Although I will say, when I'm mowing up there in the woods, I like to wear this anyway. Just, and now, okay, I am an optometrist, so eye safety is important. Wear your eye protection, everyone. But I wear these because I just get annoyed when dust and little particles of grass get in my eyes. So I don't know that it has anything to do with eye safety, it's just an annoyance. So wear eye protection, right? But this is the Toro Titan. This is the one that Toro sent me. That's a free mower. I did not buy this. So that's the disclosure for you there. That's how this works. You have to wear all the PPE. Again, I would have worn this anyway. Now the headphones, I will say that when I did my last video, I actually kind of liked wearing the headphones. I was impressed at how much quieter everything was. And I was like, huh, you know what? It probably is damaging to your ears to mow with a really loud machine like that or any mower probably loud equipment without wearing ear protection. So uh, anyway, I can't say that I hate that but we've got to get through the swamp. So right there, it stays really wet and it's wet right now. It's been really hot. Finally, the heat kicked in, which has been great for the Bermuda grass, but uh, makes mowing a little bit more of a chore for sure. So it has dried out some, but there's still a little bit of mud. I think we'll get through just fine. Really cross my fingers and don't get stuck, but I don't think I will. I think I'll get through just fine. But gonna go up and mow up in the trees. I really wanna get that area really fixed up this year. Maybe even plant some seed, plant some, I don't know, fescue, rye, something that'll grow up there a little bit better. Um, let me know what you think. If you've got a shaded area and you've had success with rye or fescue and you're in the south, you know, Bermuda land, say the word because uh, I'd like to get some feedback on that and figure out what I wanna plant up there this fall. But either way, it just looks a ton better whenever I get it all mowed and when I keep it mowed consistently. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Check it out. We are putting the Titan through the ringer today. This is like three or four or maybe higher feet tall. Um, yeah, this is crazy. So we're gonna raise it all the way up. Um, the height says four and a half inches. Gonna go slow, probably have to go over areas more than once. Uh, that's just kind of the nature of mowing really tall grass, I guess, because the really tall grass will lay over when the deck of the mower hits it, lays it down, and then cuts it only a little bit at a time, so you have to go over it. It's better, you know, like, if you come back in a different direction, it'll cut it easier, so it's kind of a pain to cut really tall stuff. Yes, I realize that a brush hog would have been a better tool for this job, but it's one of my life's mottos that the equipment or the stuff that you have is more effective than the stuff that you wish you had 100% of the time. So I think the Toro Titan has really lived up to its name today. I was actually kind of hoping to be able to give it a nickname, but Toro kind of did that for me because Titan fits really well. I was putting it through all kinds of stuff. I mean, we were mowing through just ridiculously high grass, which I don't think is the intention for this mower. This is more of a homeowner. Like this is like their hybrid. It's a homeowner, you know, grade. I don't know exactly what to call that, but homeowner style mower but they've put a lot of the pro stuff, they put a lot of commercial stuff into it. So it's kind of a hybrid because they put a lot of the pieces from the commercial mowers. This thing, man, it's a beast. I mean, I don't, I don't think you can go wrong, especially if you're cutting your actual yard. There is nothing that this thing won't be able to do in a normal yard. Like if you saw what I just did with it. 
but just to give you kind of a little bit of background on why I'm doing this, why I'm cutting through all this tall stuff, I have just gotten way too far behind. I'm used to borrowing my parents' mower and mowing up here like once a month, so I end up cutting through a bunch of tall stuff every time. And so I've just gotten way too far behind and that's totally on me, obviously. But now that I have a mower, I'm gonna mow this a lot more often. My wife says she's kind of excited to actually be able to take a break. She'll tag me out, you know, when I get home from work and just say, all right, you're it, and I'm with the kids, and she's gonna come up here and uh, be on the mower, because we all know that that's like peaceful, right? You can kind of check out for the day and just be alone with your thoughts and just have some alone time. So she's gonna enjoy that a lot too, coming up here and mowing this. But if we can mow this a lot more consistently, it looks really good. I did, for a, a, a short time anyway, mow this really consistently up here in the trees, and it looked amazing when I actually had it done. So this season is my that's my plan is to get this all cleaned up really really well and then even plant some seed like I said earlier plant something up here in the shade because it's gonna be Bermuda up here in the clearing that's just unavoidable even if I was trying to do something else that's gonna be Bermuda um, oh I guess I skipped this part the, the whole goal is because we're going to build a house up here someday um, that's the plan and we'll see how that goes over time and I don't know I don't know a timeline on that but uh, if I could get it cleaned up you know, before we get there, that would be ideal, obviously, and get it looking pretty nice. But also just to be able to have some kind of cool season grass to play around with. Um, hopefully get it looking good so I can get to the point where I can make some of those big wide stripes that the commercial lawn people do, you know, and those huge houses that they just stripe it down. I, I don't even know what type of grass. I think it's fescue, but um, I just don't know enough about it. So that's my goal is to be able to get some something really nice through here and really clean this area up gonna take a lot of work. I've got actually a couple of brush piles that I need to burn too, so there's just a ton to be done. And, and probably a lot of it's gonna be done in the off season, actually, if I burn some brush piles and do a lot of dirt work and that sort of thing up here, you know, when I'm not actually mowing my lawn every other day, I'll have more time to get some of this stuff done. But yeah, um, I think that kind of wraps this video up. I'm gonna mow the rest of this. Uh, I'll try to film some more of it and see what gets into the video, but um, I'll wrap it up here and just say thanks for watching, and I will catch you later.